I try to get my hair like really kinky curly. It's definitely not giving 80s. <laughs> Y'all like my new little cute cactus? <laughs> I'm getting into the nostalgia today. Totally 100%. Don't you forget about me. Tequila's over here looking at me like, girl, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm so freaking excited because today we are diving into a little first impressions slash review on the new Physicians Formula X The Breakfast Club collection. Y'all, I was so freaking excited when I saw this on Octoly and I was so freaking excited that I was accepted for it. This collection is so freaking cute. I am all about a collection that brings back nostalgia. The aesthetic is so freaking cute. I love the school vibes and I am just so here for it. Anyways, it's been a few videos since I've done like a review or anything, so I'm very excited to jump into one today. And honestly, this is my first time ever doing a first impression slash review video on a physician's formula product, let alone a collection, so I'm very excited for this to be the first one. I have tried some physician's formula products, such as the butter bronzer. That is actually my favorite product from physician's formula, but I have not bought anything new new from them in quite a long time, so I'm very excited to play with this collection today. Before we dive in, you beauties don't don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you haven't already and you're into seeing mini reviews and tutorials and seeing my makeup looks in general, go ahead and head on over to my TikTok and Instagram where you can see plenty of that, baby. Now let's go ahead and jump right into it today because I'm ready, y'all. I am ready! <laughs> So here is the full collection right here. It comes with two face palettes, an eyeshadow palette, three lipsticks, and a mascara. You can buy everything that comes in this collection for $59.99. It comes in this box as well. And you guys, I think that's a great freaking price. $59.99 for all of this? Today we are going to be starting with the Breakfast Club Being Bad Feels Pretty Good Eyeshadow Palette. I love the name of that. Very cute. Here's a little close-up of the palette. It's going to take me a minute to open it because of these nails. Oh no, I got it! <laughs> This is what she's looking like on the inside. This baby retails for $18.49. And honestly, y'all, it's very neutral. You know me. You know I like a little pop of color. And there are some purples in here, which is super cute. And I do kind of have in mind a look that I want to do with this palette today. But this is definitely not a palette that I would go in with every single day. Because you know me. I like my pops of color. I would honestly like to see like maybe a light pink in here, kind of like my nails. There's light pink all over the packaging. I mean, hello, there's light pink on the box. I mean, the lipsticks packaging, if I can open this, is light pink. So I don't know. I kind of would have liked to see a light pink in here as well. But by all means, she's still cute. And I'm very excited to dip into these shimmers. Like, I've never tried their butter formula eyeshadows. So I'm very excited. I also really, really love the pans like the little details in the pans is so freaking cute the pencil this one says sincerely yours and this one says the breakfast club honestly the little details were not missed and i just love it it's so cute i did dip my finger into a few of these already but let's do a couple of swatches i'm diving into this one first this one is in the shade flare gun i'm just gonna swatch it right here on the back of my arm oh okay i will say she did get a little weird and patchy right here at the end but I don't know this right here I love the shine super cute we're definitely gonna have to see how it applies on the eyes I kind of want to do the one right next to it to get real these are the colors that I kind of want to use today so that's why I'm swatching them Ooh, okay that has way more pigment than it did earlier when I swatched it but you can still see the patchiness in it so I'm really hoping they apply better on the eyes Let's do a different shimmer than I swatched earlier because I swatched this one earlier. I really, mm, which one? Let's go ahead and swatch this one right here. This one is called Everything's Cool. I'm just going to swatch it right below that. Oh, baby. That is the winner. Ding, ding. Holy shit, that was like so smooth, so buttery. When I did swatch this one, it felt like it was very packed like in the pan and it did feel a lot drier than this one. This one was really buttery, really smooth. Look at that, look at that. 
for good luck, let's go ahead and just try one more of these mattes out. I think that I want to swatch this one right here. This one is in the shade Not Who You Think I Am. I did swipe it in there a few freaking times. It's very pigmented on all my finger. Let's see how it slides. Okay, that one is a lot prettier. Maybe it was just the way that I swatched this one. Holy shit, that one is pigmented. And there's no weird like patchiness in this one really. Maybe right here at the bottom, but like not like that one. Not like that one at all. Anyways, let's get these swatches off my arm and let's go ahead and just apply these babies to the eyes because I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. I'm going to start by priming my eye with a little bit of my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So I think the first shade that I want to go in with first is a little bit of Get Real. I'm going in with a tiny Morphe brush. I'm not sure which brush this is because this did come in a brush set that I had, but I'm just going to start like kind of right in my crease and on the outer portion of my eye and kind of make a round shape okay I really had to pack it in there but the pigment it looks pretty on the eye it really does I'm taking this kind of clean brush and I'm just gonna blend out the edges a bit let's see how it blends it oh it is blending like butter is like that what the formula is about like blending like butter because holy like do y'all just see kind of how easy the edges are blending i like i'm liking this Okay, she's looking cute, but I'm going to take a little bit of the shade right next to it. That one is Sincerely Yours, The Breakfast Club. I'm going to take this on a Morphe brush as well. This one is an M5. I can't even tell you that either because it is like, can you see it? It's like scratched off of there. <laughs> that probably means it's about time for a new brush, Sarah. But I'm about to take this shade and I'm just going to put a little bit of that right here in the front kind of in the crease and then blending it out a little bit. I'm debating on taking this shade all the way around. I'm just not quite sure yet where I want to go from here. <laughs> This shade is super pretty as well, and I feel like it's very buildable. I wouldn't say it's super, super pigmented right off the bat, but you can definitely go back and build it up to the darker shade that you want it to be. And the two shades are also blending together really pretty. There's no like weird patchiness really. Loving it. Okay, I opened my window up so that maybe you could see the colors a little bit better in the daylight. Super freaking pretty. I'm loving this color combo too. I wish you could tell that this was like more purple, but it's definitely like a dark muted purple and it's still very pretty. It's got a little shimmer in it too, which I love. If y'all didn't know, I really like the ColourPop like matte shadows that have like the little bit of shimmer in them. Those are like some of my favorite shadows, especially from ColourPop. So I was really excited to see kind of a matte shadow shade with a little bit of shimmer in it okay physicians formula but now this is where i'm stuck because like i want another beautiful shade to blend all this out and make it like complete but there's no really other shade for me to go in here with unless i want like a muted shade to blend this out with i'm kind of stuck I was honestly thinking about maybe using one of the face palettes, using one of the pinks in here to like blend out the edges of this purple. I don't know if it'll work, but I kind of want to do it. This is why I needed a freaking pink in this eyeshadow palette. I'm telling y'all. This is the Breakfast Club Saturday Detention Face Palette. This one is super freaking cute. This is volume one. This baby retails for $8.49 alone, or you can also grab it in the whole entire collection. I think I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called The Rebel to kind of blend out this purple on the edges. I'm really hoping and praying that this works, y'all. I'm really hoping and praying. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on this Morphe brush. This one is a M. Oh, I did already try to tell you guys this one and I can't read it. I don't know why I'm trying to tell you it again. <laughs> now, when I pick some up on the brush, it did pick up quite a bit. So let's hope we can get this blended the way that I like. Ah, ooh, okay, okay. She's giving me more peachy vibes than I wanted, but she is cute and it's giving me like exactly what I wanted to blend out the edges. Oh my gosh. If I go in with that shade too with blush, I can kind of just like blend it into that eyeshadow.
Now I am going to go back in with those two shades that I did go in with before just to brighten it up a bit and to kind of blend it upwards just a tad bit more. But I love the pink vibes. Don't you love the pink vibes? Okay. Okay. I kind of don't really want to go in with a sharp, sharp cut crease today. So I think I'm just going to go in lightly, like take a little bit of my eyeshadow primer that I used before and go in with like a flat brush or something and just lightly pat it right there so that we can place down a shimmer. Okay. I have my semi kind of cut crease. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I want to call it. I'm going to go in with the shade Flare Gun now, a little bit of this sparkly purple. Ooh. 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 And I'm going to place this shade kind of right here on the outside of the cut crease. it's fully giving me what I wanted it to give me it does look really pretty like sparkly but I don't know I guess I would want a little bit more shimmer you know what I mean moving on I'm gonna take a little bit of we've been brainwashed on my pinky finger and I'm just gonna put this right here on the inner corner of the eye oh see now she she already has a little bit more sparkle let me add some mo. I will say this one, the shade is pressed very hard in the pan too. Like it's a little hard to dig up and I definitely feel like this one is going to apply best with the finger for sure. Okay, this is what the eye is looking like so far. I'm really debating like adding maybe like a rhinestone or I don't know. I don't go neutral tone or anything like that regularly. So I'm kind of loving this moment. It's super cute. I will say for the peeps that do their face before they do their eye makeup, there's quite a bit of fallout. You can see it right there, especially with that dark purple. Mm, you might want to do your eyes before your face. I'm just saying. Nonetheless, I'm loving this eye. It's super cute. Still wish there was a pink in here. I'm gonna go ahead and catch up my other eye and my face, and then we can try out the face palettes. I'm so excited for these, oh my gosh. Okay, I am back. I have most of my base on, but now it is time to hop into the face palettes. I already did show you volume one. This is the Saturday Detention one absolutely stunning i think this actually might be the one that i will be going in with today and this is the volume 2 saturday detention palette again retailing for 18.49 a piece and they also come in the whole entire collection together I will say I love how they included two face palettes because when you only have six pans, it's kind of harder to include everyone. So I do love how they have two different palettes to choose from. I will say though, I feel like they definitely could have gone a bit deeper with this one. What do you guys think? To start off today, I'm going to go in with Class of 84 right here and just bronze up my cheeks. I usually go in with cream contour first, but today I did not go in with any cream contour. I want to get the full effect of trying these bronzers out. Like I said before, the Butter Bronzer, the Physician's Formula Original Butter Bronzer is like my favorite. It is the perfect shade for me, so I'm very curious to see how this works. Whoa, there is some pigment to that baby but it is blending out really beautifully like dang a lot of pigment went onto my cheek and it's just blending out with like little to no effort i'm loving that i feel like physicians formula is really well known for mostly their bronzers and i give them that they've got some really nice freaking bronzers ah! okay i really want to use the blush that i used on my eyes today this is in the shade the rebel it's such a pretty like light pink and not a shade that i normally go in with with just a couple taps that is not enough for me so i'm gonna go in with just a tad bit more i like a lot of blush y'all i i can't help myself <laughs> Look how soft and pink and pretty that blush is. It's definitely not like a bright blush. So if you are a bright blush queen and you like a more dramatic blush, this one is not for you. But this is perfect for those little to no makeup days. And just for that little pink flush moment, like I'm loving it. Okay, I did just set my face and I went ahead and contoured my nose with that same bronzer shade. I think this bronzer shade is like perfect for me. I'm obsessed. But now it is time to shine, baby. It's time for a little bit of highlighter. And I'm gonna take the shade The Brain, which is right here. I'm I'm very excited about this. And I'm gonna go ahead and start highlighting, baby. 
Oh my gosh, this has like a pink reflectant in it too. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, I really, really love this highlighter. I thought it was gonna be icy as crap, you know what I mean? I get scared when I see like an all white highlighter. I'm like, eh! is it gonna be too icy? But look at this, it just has like the prettiest pink reflect. Like it is really pink on the cheeks. And she is very glowy too. My cheeks are glowing. I'm loving it. Y'all know I gotta highlight my Cupid's bow and my nose. We cannot forget her. Oh my gosh, this highlighter. Oh my gosh, I think it's my favorite out of this whole collection so far. Ah! Look at it on my brow bone, y'all. Look at it on my brow bone. Okay, beauties, it is starting to storm again here, so I'm trying to finish this up as quickly as I can because it gets loud, let me tell you. I did already start applying the Detention Mascara to this eye. It's looking pretty good so far. I wouldn't say this is the best mascara I've ever used, but she does give you some length, which I love. I really do like this applicator. It's nice and thin, and honestly, I think it's perfect for the lower lash line. I really love the way it separates and makes my lower lashes look very long and luscious. This mascara comes in the whole entire collection, and it is sold separately for $11.99. I don't think I would personally spend $11.99 just on a limited edition Breakfast Club mascara, especially for the performance, but that's just me. Last but not least in this collection, we have the Princess Lipsticks. Look how freaking cute this packaging is. I'm obsessed. We have three shades in these Princess Lipsticks. This one is in the shade I Don't Like Mondays. It is a really cute mauve shade. I think I'm definitely gonna, I'm probably going in with this one today. Let's give her a swatch. Ooh, she's buttery. And then I accidentally chipped the top of this one already. Clumsy me. This one is in Get Real. She's a nice little muted pink. Look at that. I love the way that these are performing already. And we are just to the swatches. Okay. Here we have The World is an Imperfect Place. This one is super pretty as well. It's kind of giving me like orangey vibes. Let's give her a swatch. Oh, yes. She's giving me like coral realness and a little bit of vibrancy and I'm here for it. Did I already say that these retail for $8.99? I can't really remember but they do retail for $8.99 a piece and they also do come in the whole entire collection when you buy it. I honestly think that I'm gonna go in with I Don't Like Mondays. That is that really cute kind of orangey mauve shade right here kind of nude. I'm loving it. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner and then apply. This lipstick shade is absolutely stunning. I love the formula of these lipsticks too. I think these might be like my second favorite things besides the face palette in this collection. I'm in love. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up by putting on some lashes and maybe a gloss and then I'll be back with my final thoughts and opinions on the Breakfast Club collection. Okay beauties, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I am honestly, I'm obsessed for a neutral kind of sort of looking look for me. <laughs> she's giving, she's giving. I will say I had higher hopes for the eyeshadow palette. There were some shades that were in here. They were kind of pressed a little hard, especially this shade right here. You see how I kind of really had to dig in there. Like I said in the beginning, it would probably be better to apply this shade with a finger, but I did go in with a brush a little bit and y'all, it was really, really difficult to apply with a brush. So just forewarning. But other than that, I really, really did love these two purple shades right here. Super pretty, super pigmented. I love. My favorite things in this collection are definitely the face palettes and the lipsticks. The face palettes are my number one though, for sure. I absolutely love these. These are so cute and I love how there's a blush, bronzer, highlighter. You get all in one, baby. And I also love how they made two separate palettes for different shade ranges we love. Like I said, the mascara definitely isn't the best mascara I've ever used in my life, but it is still super pretty and I really, really love it for the bottom lash application. Like, I will be breaking this out for my bottom lashes all the time. 
and the lipsticks i absolutely love these they don't dry down or anything like this is obviously going to transfer but i absolutely love the formula it's very buttery it feels so soft on your lips they are so super comfortable and so super cute i love the shades too as well overall i really do love the entire collection price as well it's only like 59 dollars, like i said and some change and that is just really amazing to me i feel like these brands when they come out with these collabs or like col nostalgic collections and stuff like that they usually try to rank up the price when it comes to buying the whole entire collection but 59 dollars that ain't that bad for a whole entire collection you get two face palettes an eyeshadow palette three lipsticks and a mascara which we love Anyways, I hope you beauties enjoyed this video, and if you did and you want to let me know, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a pink heart in the comments if you stay here till the end. Also, let me know down in the comments what else you guys would like to see me review or try out here on my channel, and I would be happy to do so. I love you beauties so freaking much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye beauties!